Hey, Doug, I'm here for Doc Sports, and today is Tuesday, March the 9th. And uh, we start to, be, I should say, we begin building for the college basketball tournaments all weekend long. Had a winner yesterday, a come-from-behind winner with Cleveland State, so that was a nice one. And uh, myself, I split the two games in college basketball, so looking to come back with a 2-0 day. So, But nice winner on the college basketball. Uh, 184 wins in the last 278 days. I think that's 66% if my math is close enough. And so going to continue to try and deliver another one today. All right, so see if we can get that going for you. Uh, today, I do have a, a two-pack in college basketball. Um, I have my, I think it's just my second first half play of the year. That's a four-unit play. And then another one that's a four-unit play. So looking to cash on both of those today. I uh, had some more overtime Unluck with St. Louis yesterday, so they dropped me to four and one of my most recent uh, the uh, NHL plays. So I'm looking to big ba uh, bounce back big time today. Got my uh, one of my highest plays of the year uh, going tonight uh, on the puck line. So we're gonna see if we can cash with that one tonight. Okay, get some get some good good things going here. Make it happen. All right, let's get to today's free play. Uh, the third game of the day in the ACC first round is Wake Forest versus Notre Dame. Um, in this one, uh, Notre Dame should have a better record than they do. Uh, at, they're at 10 and 14. Uh, they blew multiple first half leads this season uh, because they couldn't play any defense, make shots in the final 20 minutes, and lost some games. Quite honestly, they should have won. Georgia Tech and Syracuse both come to mind uh, of, of those, uh, those two games. Uh, the Fighting Irish are above average offensively, uh, but because of their defense has been poor, they lately, uh, in particular, they have played three straight overs. Uh, after playing fairly well early in the season, Wake Forest, they have hit the skids big time. They've lost seven straight, and in, and in those last uh, in those in those games, they're losing by 19 points per game. So they're getting crushed, and offensively, that's it's been you know, it's certainly as bad. In those last six games, they're averaging a mere 54.5 points per game. In this matchup, so what are we looking for? And we're looking to play under a neutral court teams like Notre Dame, who have gone over in three consecutive or more games who is an average team, average meaning um, zero to, or say plus or minus three and a half points against a weak team, which certainly Wake Forest fits the bill, being outscored by three and a half to eight and a half points after they have played 15 or more games. This extremely rare system is 27 and three under, that's 90%. Let's take under 141 for Wake Forest and Notre Dame. All right, so a, a quick recap. Got a eight unit, actually eight, eight total units in college basketball, four each. Okay, uh, going today for a two pack, and an NHL. One of my top plays. Well, it's for sure my puck line game of the week, and it's been one. Of, it's one of my strongest plays of the year. So that is also available for you today at Doc Sports, the Doug Upstone page. So that's everything that you need there. The other uh, free pick for you is the Wise Guy free pick, and that is to take Cal State Fullerton in the Big West conference. I think they're a five and a half point favorite, as I, if I recall. So there's your other pick. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until Wednesday, I'm out.